All right, good morning, good morning, good morning. Let's see what we can get out of the universe today. We have got some conflicts going on. We got five up here. We got Taurus. There's definitely some very stubborn energy coming into play here. A lot of it has to do with messages. Mercury is not in retrograde, so we have got something going down with communication. Ooh, funny, I want to start with the story time. The general energy for the moon. We've got the lady card. Once again, it's someone going through a transformation phase or someone who's in part of their uh, divine feminine within part of their awakening journey, right? Either, you know, it's, um, it's either, it's like the lady and the gentleman card is, the, of course, they're the main romantic figures, right? And the opposition, the point is to find the other person, right? Find their counterparts. The other part is, is they usually go through some major transformation where they either go from being wealthy to poor or poor to wealthy. There's some sort of, um, you know, they go through that humbling, some sort of humbling journey, right? That's part of the awakening process that we've got going on here. So we definitely got to focus on a feminine. You know what? I didn't do my rooms. I don't think I did them yesterday either, did I? I'm going to have these up on Etsy here soon. I keep forgetting to put the link down there at the bottom. Definitely got the focus on some romance here. There's something going on that's in secret here. Someone's about to, I get the sense of a cut and run. Star destination here, right? Romance. Something that's going to make a lot of waves. People are going to be shocked by whatever is about to happen here. <laughs> yep. These aren't even cards that were open yesterday. Just barely touched those. All right, we've got someone who could deal with a lot of abandonment issues, right? This is past life energy that they're stuck on. They definitely feel like you feel like a spouse to them. Ooh, what do I got here? There was a rune I missed, flight. And this is definitely my twin flame energy card, right? means you guys have played this game before you've had these connections before you've taken turns being masculine and feminine you've been married before it could be a, a weird level of comfort with the person you don't know why you have that such an instant weird level of comfort with somebody and it's because you've been married before in a past life someone's dealing with gilded regret five that's what's causing the conflict somebody is in a connection right now um, due to financial reasons or they're in some sort of situationship or situation for money and comfort. That's what I was talking about, right? I said rags to riches and riches to rags, right? Energy going on there. I don't know why I'm picking up like that song, um, She grew up, oh God, where was it? Out in the shed with the blue tick hounds. Blessed with beauty. The kind that a rich man can't turn down. We got fragmented energy here. It's really, really scattered. Someone could have just very, very recently been triggered by whatever, by anybody who's been on this journey anybody who has been on rolling with these uh twin flame star seed journeys that we have going on right it's fascinating fascinating there's so many different variations of you right like i love i i, I do love the whole idea of um definitely got a feminine who needs to get back into invoking her own power the twin flame journey isn't about finding that one specific person because you'll be you'll be amazed on how quickly this journey shifts and changes and turns, right? As you evolve, as your energy changes, different people come in and out of your life, things change, right? 
and sometimes that person that you thought was your twin for a very long time ends up just being a toxic ass narcissist and it takes your actual twin to awaken you from the brainwashing that you've been suffering from. Right? Think it just because the connection is abundant and just because, you know, you're spoiled and everything now and now you're in gilded regret. Someone is in gilded regret. We'll get into that here in a minute. Right in the middle of the top. This is intense. We got a divine masculine here on the top line here. So the 5D, the highest energy there right now is definitely a divine masculine. King of Staves. Um, I get older, mature, uh, probably highly sexual type of energy, right? Fire sign type of energy. Yep, we got the fool's leap, this person. Someone's thinking about taking a leap towards somebody. So on the 3D, I got somebody, I got 66 could be a big number for today. There is a lot of passion about whatever this is. I got somebody releasing the past. Um, there's definitely some defensive energy around protecting resources, right? And balancing resources out, right? Someone could be broke, right? Or in a transitioning phase, right? To break free. That's the gilded regret, right? It doesn't necessarily have to be like, you know, the stereotypical female in that type of situation. It could be a masculine stuck in a situation for money, too. And it's like they feel like they're kind of entrapped, right? It's like the, it, it seems on surface, on paper, on everything else, this looks really good. But you just they feel kind of entrapped by this energy here. They're definitely stuck in what's considered it's, it's a comfort zone, right, that they want to break out of. They want to break out of it. They want more than what's what's going on in their lives right now. They want more for themselves. They're very passionate about this. They understand that they have to leave the past behind. The Six of Cups is kind of reversed here. So that is something that they definitely struggle with, that they're afraid of. Right? That could definitely be, because I got the Nine of Swords up here, right? But there's definitely some fear in breaking free from whatever it is, situation that they're in. Whatever gilded situation, right? It could be a job. It could be, it has to do with money for sure. Like it will change their financial situation quickly if they try to shift or move, right? Mm, that's what the Twin Flame Energy does. What? It makes you want to just like, just like flip the table like you're losing that Monopoly, right? I got Eight of Wands. There's definitely a separation, a distance here, right? Someone is defending their energy, from people who are casting at them, right? I got a Prince of Pentacles here. I get, and a Princess of Cups. And in between is this Fool's Leap here. The Prince of Pentacles, though, this is the energy I'm getting, right? They don't move very fast. And here's the bull, right? They don't move very fast. They're usually very still. The Pentacle, even the King, is usually on like a horse that's like eating grass, right? They're usually not very, they don't move a lot. Right, they they like to attract things to them. They're 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 the quintessential I don't chase, I attract type of energy here, right? And I think that's what the problem is here because then you got this princess of cups here, and I get that she draws a lot of attention from the universe, right? And she doesn't do it the same way the prince of pentacles does it. She just does it by just continuing to operate from a heart based center. Right? It's just something that she just exudes that draws attention. Not necessarily things and stuff like that. Like Prince of Pentacles is good at manifesting money. Um, they're good at keeping a routine. 
uh, like, you know, they're the ones that, you know, like, they can work out every day, and they're very balanced in those type of areas, right? I got there's definitely some, um, something in the works here. There's something in the works here. It's in the thinking process right now. King of Staffs is thinking of something here. <coughs> Excuse me. There is a lot of anxiety right now. There's some sort of hurdle that this person needs to get past to get back into this connection. I definitely get to pick up that there might be a communication problem. thinking there's a queen of swords that's watching all of this she's on the other side of what all this is right there's definitely a divine feminine who's watching all of this going on there's two other feminine energies around this masculine that cause a lot of conflict in their life right there's someone that this person still cares about very deeply or she presents herself as still caring about them very deeply you know, they're very loving towards this person. They could even be nurturing in some sort of way and helpful in some sort of way. The other one is the Queen of Pentacles here, right? This is the one that has the money that's tied up in some sort of situation. It's beneficial because she's around because of money. But this person is being guided because they know that that these, if I, my five of cups is crabs in the bucket. These two energies like this masculine in the situation that they have him in. So they like to keep him there because it's not just his comfort zone. It's all of their comfort zones. It's just how they all function. If he were to remove himself from the situation, yeah, it would be hard on him. But it'd also be hard for anybody else who's been relying on him to keep this whole fucking thing going, right? I get that the, he realizes, this person realizes that they've been really stupid, when, it, especially when it comes to the Queen of Cups energy, right? Like, I feel like someone's been giving somebody a lot of love, and this person, they, they feel stupid for it now, right? I get almost that false twin energy popping up again there. There's a rite of passage for somebody, right? It's like, what what's the truth? The truth is these people have been stabbing holes in your boat, right? They will drill holes in your boat if you try to take, you know, if you try to be captain, they will just drill holes in the boat because they can't be captain, right? A lot of energy in having to defend yourself right now. This person has to defend themselves, right? There's balance that they need to get. King of Cups. There's some sort of illusion here, right? I don't know. Somebody, whatever it is, it's like, what? These people promised you a situation that was too good to be true. Of course it was going to fall apart. You should have known that, really, type of energy, right? It's like this King of Cups. It's like, get control of yourself. This person is manifesting, trying to manifest out of this situation. There's a lot of toxic connections that this person is trying to escape from, right? I feel like they're very worried about you uh, finding out how they've been manifesting things, right? I, I feel like they're worried about that. I feel like they're worried about you finding out. They, 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 they care about what people think of them. They like to appear traditional. They like to appear strong. They like to appear, you know... Like, they, um, that they're respectful, that they have honor, right? This person is what I'm picking up. They don't want you to know, I get, like, they don't want you to know, like, how much of a bitch they've been in certain situations, right? This person is gaining balance. They've been really immature, right? They keep, yeah, I get... I get like they were immature with their sexual energy, right? You get the king of stars up here getting in control of this, but this person, um, their peckers get got them into a lot of trouble in the past. Has gotten them into a lot of trouble in the past. They've been very, very silly 
when it comes to the opposite sex. It could be why they have such a defensiveness now, right? They don't want to be fooled again. That too good to be true. Yeah, we got a king of staves and a queen of staves, or a king of coins and a queen of staves here, right? You got Mr. Traditional, Mr. Keeping Balance, Mr. Managing the Budget, you know what I'm saying? Carry the authoritarian in the family here. And then you got Mrs., uh, you know, I get like that arrogant, fiery, feminine energy, right? There's a tower happening between these two, though, right? It's like she, I don't think she can control him the same way. Right, because now he's not in staff energy. He's in pentacle energy. He's like, no, he's like, what? I'm not messing around with you now. Or he's about to cut them off, right, with this tower. Woohoo, about to bust a move. Eight of Wands, world. This person is ready to, yeah, I, I feel like experience the world. Yeah, they're, they're emboldened to start to carry their burdens differently right now. That's what I'm getting. They're being emboldened to carry their burdens differently. Someone's coming into the realization that if they want change, then they have to make it. Yes, yes, yes. Ten of Cups. Got this Five of Cups, right? It's just all about this new connection is going to help them focus and get past these old connections, right? They are focused on something here. They want that Ten of Cups. They're like, what? No, they're like, that fucking sounds like a dream life, right? Whatever it is has been inspired into this person. They're like, what? They want that. That's what they want. They're like, that's exactly what the hell I want now, right? They've made a crisp, clear judgment on something here. They're ready for a new beginning. They're worried. They're worried about, you know, they're, they're watching. They're worried and they're watching. They're defensive. They're, they don't want to look like an idiot again. So it's, it's a lot of anxiety coming with this, right? I love it. It's that Nine of Cups, Nine of uh, Swords energy. And the, and the swords are there, right? That Nine of Cups, Nine of Swords. is like, what? Ah, what? No, I just got a taste of the Nine of Cups. And, and I saw what the Ten of Cups could be. And what? That's terrifying. What? I don't know. It's scary to even think to want it, right? This person's watching. They don't want to, you to know that they're... I think as lonely as they are. They don't want you to know that they're lonely. They don't want you to know that they're probably broke here with this five of coins. Right? It's like water in the sand. Spilling water in the sand is the energy that I'm getting. There's some sort of lie that this person wants. There's not necessarily a lie. I get a truth. There's a truth that this person wants to bring to a high priestess energy, right? I'm picking her up since we came in here. Someone's being called to invoke their power here, right? To get back into invocating their power, right? Get out there, make some medallas, make some crystal grids, light some candles. You know what I'm saying? Act like the divine being that you are, right? When was the last time one of y'all, you know, when was the last time y'all made a crystal grid, set up an altar? When was the last time you fed your ancestors? When was the last time you guys have done any of this stuff? Have you been slacking off the last year or so, right? I mean, I know I haven't been doing my um, 13 moons, 13 runes monthly rituals for y'all, but I did it for three years straight. You guys should have had some foundations on there, right, to build off of. If you'd like me to start again, you're going to have to put those on the comments there below. Because that was a lot of work for all that. But there's definitely, back to what I was getting into here. There's a truth that somebody wants to bring this high priestess here. They think you're the empress. I get that they're like addicted to your energy. You make them feel weak. And they don't like it. They don't like it. That's all there is to it. They just, they just, they don't like the way you make them feel. It sounds weird, but yeah, it's like, it's awakening them, but at the same time, it's scurry. Alrighty, alrighty, alrighty.
let's see. You got anything to say before we roll out? Get the full energy here. The universe is trying to mess with me and I refuse to engage. I said we got that fragmented energy. Someone, because it, here's the deal. The universe will keep distracting you. It will keep bothering you. It will still keep hammering on you. I have to say the best description I ever heard was, um, and it's kind of like the seven of pentacles where he has all the pentacles on his shoulder, right? It's the universe just slowly pressing down on you just a little bit more, just a little bit more. Why? They want, the universe is trying to make your comfort zone uncomfortable. Because it knows you'll never change if it doesn't. So it will go through some drastic things to get somebody to change. No one should know too much about their own def their own destiny. The definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over again, expecting a different result. Right? Coming into this, you know, the let's make a deal season with taxes and everything else going on in the U.S., right? It's just be mindful. Remember, right? Remember, the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over and over again. Whatever your situation is, if you notice that there's a toxic pattern that keeps happening, I've said this, like, if you just came through, we just came through Mercury retrograde, right? Really think about it. What were the biggest conflicts that you just went through, right, during that retrograde season? Is it the same thing? Does that same argument, that same thing happen like three times a year? Right around Mercury retrograde? Really think about it. And the definition of insanity, what, is you keep being manipulated by people into reacting a certain way because they know your program and to keep this cycle going because it's a fucking fucked up comfort zone for everybody. You are your own prisoner to this shit. You just are your own prisoner. Ha ha ha. Whatever the conflict is, both sides, neither one is owning up to this. Yeah, I'm the dickhead fairy that sprinkled you with bitch dust and created this whole argument. I get the energy of somebody bounced up. They're like, what? I didn't create your problems, man. I just pointed them out that they were there. But sure, yeah, I'm the... The dickhead fairy that sprinkled bitch dust. Ah, I love that card. Happiness can be found in even the darkest of times if one only remembers to turn on the light. When a woman sped up this came on. A person playing a role will eventually forget their lines. Pay attention. The act cannot go on forever. Right? When someone, again, I keep saying this too to people. When someone tells you who they are, listen. Stop saying, no, they're not. Oh, no, you're not. I, I think they're better than this. They just did it. No, no. Someone tells you who they are, shows you who they are. They're doing this over and over again, like three, four times a year. Realize who they are. For your will is as strong as mine and my, for your, for my will is as strong as yours and my kingdom is as great. You have no power over me. Remember it, write it down, take a picture. I don't give a fuck. Definitely the energy of somebody who had to stand their ground probably didn't probably like I said recognize the manipulation this is what happens when an awakened person encounters the unawakened person right and it's when the awakened person first reaches this other this other person right everybody thinks they're awake right but then when one person tries to what they believe is woke behavior tries to use that bullshit to manipulate the actual awake person and that person turns around and goes 
My will is as strong as yours and my kingdom is as great. You have no power over me. Remember that. Write it down. Take a fucking picture. Like, I'm too involved now. You jump, I jump. Remember, I can't turn away without knowing you'll be all right. Someone cannot look away at this point. They cannot look away at this point, but they've got to understand where they've created these situations, right? There's definitely a call, for, definitely most for those that are on this path, the Witch's Tower. I get most of um, Divine Feminines here to really focus on invoking your own power. Keep focusing on yourself, your light, and your radiating, right? It's a whole Princess of Cups, Princess of Pentacles energy, right? Embrace it. Don't run from it. Don't be afraid of the attention and stuff like that that you get when, this, when these things start to take off. But focus on what you're manifesting for yourself without anybody else attached to your manifestations, right? Someone has to deal with the fact that they are in gilded regret and the reason that they are so fragmented, can't focus, and are disassociating is because they have to just recognize they are not happy where they are. I love how this is, has the mirroring moons there. Someone has terrible, terrible abandonment issues and fears, right? This is intense connection because you guys have been very intimate before in the past, right? This is what it's all about, y'all. This is the journey. All right. Blessed be all those who walk these weird and winding paths with me. I love y'all. And I'm going to be back as soon as I can. I promise.